Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Informatica that is mapping parameters and variables. What are mapping parameters? A mapping parameter represents a constant value that you can define before running a session. A mapping parameter retains the same value throughout the entire session. That means it remains constant and it won't change throughout the session. When you use the mapping parameter, you declare and use the parameter in a mapping or maplet. Actually, we need one parameter file that we have to create manually by specifying the folder and workflow details. After that, uh, we need to save it in a particular directory and uh, we need to use that parameter file where we are defining the value for the parameter file. I will show you the parameter file. The integration service evaluates all references to the uh, parameter to that value. Okay. For example, if we want to use the same session to extract transaction records for each of the region individually, for example, we are having one country table which contains several regions. And if we want to extract the region wise data in our uh, target table, and there is no need to create separate mappings for each and every region. Instead of that, we have to create one mapping, sorry, mapping parameter for that. And uh, we need to specify the parameter value in that parameter file. Based on that, we can, going on changing the parameter value, we can get the details in the target table for uh, different regions. For example, if the region code is 3 means it might be related to Asia, 4 means Africa like that, we, will, we can get all details. There is no need to create different uh, mappings for each and every region. That is the simple example we are going to see now. Here, in country folder, I have created one map already that contains, okay, then uh, that is about it. Uh, the table contains the country related details and I have created one mapping which contains one expression transformation and target that's all and here we are going to see where we are specifying our parameter here we need to create this parameter and I have given dollar dollar ID ID means uh, we are going to pass on the region ID and uh, we have to give this uh, type as variable and data type string after this here we have to specify the parameter in the query. After creating this, you will be getting the things over here. Mapping variables here, we will be getting that dollar dollar ID. So, using that, we can pass the parameter. Okay, we need to specify this. Okay, in the source qualifier. In expression editor, just for uh, specifying our details. Uh, who inserted the record and uh, what time the load time etc I have given is very simple and for that I have created the workflow we need to open this as we have got this uh, folder over here and in country parameter uh, we need to specify the uh, details the connection details that uh, mapping I'll target load device normal insert everything I think you already know about there is no need to tell this again and again now let we will check the target table first country target okay uh, it has got some data uh, we need to delete it first and make it empty okay yeah, we have got deleted so now it is empty let will check now okay now it's empty and I am running the session. Before that, we have told about the parameter file, and we need to um, s create one parameter file like that. Here, we need to specify the country detail that is the um, folder name actually. Here, this is the folder name, country dtls, and next one is uh, workflow, and uh, other one is the session session detail. And after that we need to give the parameter value here we are going to get the uh, region uh, we are going to get the data for the region id 3 okay this need to be stored in particular directory and here before that we need to make sure that we have to specify the parameter file name this is most important 
otherwise uh, no file found it will throw error in the session log so we need to specify this clearly the path should be 100 percent right okay then after that we need to run it that's all here in this uh, it's running now actually okay now it has got succeeded let will check six now let will check the table six rows except this australia rest of the things are uh, asian countries only i have given region id for australia also i have given region id three so it is considered as asian country that is not our authorization as i have given the region id as three for the region id three we have got the data uh, right okay this is the way we should use the uh, parameter now we are going to see how we are going to use the variable what is the mapping very what are mapping variables okay what is the purpose of the mapping variable before that we need to know one thing called cdc uh, using the mapping variable now we are going to implement the cdc cdc means change data capture for example we are having one source data that is the uh, relational table which contains uh, might be four or five records uh, these are all the department details and in target we need to load the department details for the first time we can uh, run the session and we can pull out all the data and we can load it to the target for the second time there is no need to pull the entire data if we do again and again uh, then it degrades the performance there is no need of it so what we are going to do is we need we are going to capture the only appended data for example one more department number 50 is added which we need to capture that 50 the department 50 details only there is no need to capture all the things how we are going to do with the help of the mapping variable we are going to see now we can create the mapping variables in the mapping or maplet after creating the mapping variable it appears in the expression editor i will show you you can use it an expression in the mapping or maplet unlike mapping parameters mapping variables are the values that can change between the sessions integration service saves the latest value of the mapping variable in the repository we can see this value at the end of the each successful session and uh, i will show it in the workflow manager during the next session run it evaluates all the references to the mapping vari variables to the saved value based on the saved value we can get the things based on that only it evaluates all the references the last saved value and we can override it also by using the parameter file now let we will see what's happening here here I am having one more map in the tutorial okay that is for and uh, this mapping variable this is the department uh, did the uh, table actually and now we will see here in the mappings again we need to specify in parameter variables and we need to give the last maximum department this is the variable name I have given and after creating this is automatically come over here in the expression we can see it and we need to use the function called set max variable using this here this we can get the mapping variable it automatically come in the expression editor and for the department number we are using it so we are using this set max variable that means maximum and uh, that means for example if the department uh, we are having around uh, uh, five records and the maximum of department number it will be saved that means 50 is the last record means that department number 50 will be saved in the uh, repository and based on that and based on that that uh, data will be pulled out okay and i will show you the department details here There we are having five departments and target let we will see how many departments are there target is empty okay here in the workflow 
for tutorial and here if you right click guys we can see the view persistent value view persistent value here it is empty so there is no need to worry about it so we can run this directly and we can see the uh, run over here tutorial and it has got succeeded we have seen I think six records five records okay five records got loaded and it will check it now and uh, including the uh, last one that department 50 everything we have got right and it will check in the workflow manager here if you see that view persistent value the last maximum department number 50 has got saved over here so there is no need to worry about it we have got the things right now what we are going to do is we are going to add one more record okay we can do like this also but in normal practice better use insert statement that will be better one I am just adding is department number 60 and here I am going to give some shipping like that okay and uh, let me give, give some name Washington like this okay. Washington's okay and let me save this one now what is our requirement here here we have got inserted the record now uh, the department 60 has got appended that means added inserted now we need to pull out the 60 only there is no need to pull all the uh, five records so based on that maximum value this uh, persistent value here we are going to pull out the only 60 so let me see what happened here we are running it succeeded only one only got inserted that means it has got pulled only one record now it's okay but we will see what has happened now the 60 came over here then the target table that means our uh, that mapping variable implementation is implementation is 100 percent right we have got a correct value so this is the way we, we need to implement this uh, mapping variable and this is the uh, n n nothing but excess what we have done so far and this is the theory part we can use the set max variable in the expression transformation filter transfer router and update strategy but the other transformation we cannot use that set max variable actually we cannot assign the value directly so we need to use this uh, informatica uh, built-in functions so we have to use the informatica build uh, that set function we need to use okay um, after that only we can uh, run the session and we can see the result and these are all the okay uh, this is the um, mapping parameter and variable. Thanks. Bye.